with fistula. So it's not better than a graft. That is a misconception if anybody has that. Yeah. So, okay. okay. Now, there are surgeons in USA as well as in the UK whom I have interacted with. There are immediate stick grafts, as they call it, available. Yeah. Okay. Flixin. So it is like, yeah. No, Flixin is yeah. there, Accus, the very whatever brands. Whatever. Yeah. So, this particular surgeon from UK said that he, if the patient comes, like how we take the patient up for tunnel catheter, which obviously takes few hours because getting an OT and things like that. He says, I put the immediate stick graft and patient is started on dialysis within six hours. Okay. So graft, but we need to have those kind of surgeons. We need to have those kind of material. So it is definitely possible that you can get away and then you know if you make this in the forearm the veins mature and it becomes very easy to make a proximal fistula after some time and entirely get away with uh, catheter but that's i think an evolution it will take maybe another generation of surgeons to come and start uh, doing this kind of work yeah, I think what you're talking you. about is surgeons who are totally dedicated to vascular access, whereas here it is the lowest priority of most of the people who are doing it at all. Yeah, they would rather do many other surgeries rather than urologists would. It's not really their job. Vascular surgeons also have a lot of other and plastic surgeons also would rather do their job than this. So it's a low priority vascular yeah. access. Yeah, so next, next question is, uh, what should be the ideal tip position for femoral tunnel catheters? Yeah, Hardik, you can take that. Uh, definitely in the, uh, into the IVC, uh, uh, as, 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 uh, of, as, but the, the, again, the problem is going to, a, uh, there is a significant risk of stenosis. Then if you are going to, up, then the, you are losing the chances uh, to put, put it again. So definitely in the IVC. So, somewhere at least four or five centimeters when the uh, IVC get uh, diversion. So about uh, di above the renal vein. Yes, above the renal vein. That's the correct. Yeah, but so, not so too far right. in the IVC. Hmm. No, I mean one can even take a long catheter and place it right into the area as you would put the IJV also. Uh, 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 IJV or femoral could be in the same tip position. Could be there. But uh, for that, you have to choose a correct catheter length. Uh, many a times you 55. don't have that current, yeah. Yeah, 55 centimeter length. So having done that, uh, yes, what you said is right. If if you are above the renal veins, you should be comfortable enough. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, sir, uh, next question is, uh, what is the ideal insertion uh, or entry point of the tunnel? Uh, for uh, CDCs uh, on the chest area. Lobo. Yeah. So the, the as Dr. Mehta showed in the video, you have to measure the catheter against that patient. So you have to choose your catheter according to the patient size, and you have to create your exit site. What is recommended? The cuff should be below the clavicle. It should not be in the neck, and it should be at least one to two centimeter away from the exit site. Uh, you could have a small uh, portion of the catheter outside the skin or you could snug the catheter the way it was shown where the hub touches the exit side. But uh, so it will depend. So usually uh, right side we are using a cuff to tip uh, length or uh, hub to tip 24 centimeters, left side 28 centimeters because there is a 4 centimeter extra path that the catheter has to traverse. But it will depend on the size of the patient and the catheter. So, uh, yeah, one, okay, one minute. Yes. So, basically, you know, there are various sizes of catheter available. One must remember that one size cut does not fit all. Uh, even in the same patient for right side and left side, there could be different sizes required. But even otherwise, from patient to patient, it is going to be difficult. And then there are always patients who are borderline even for right sided catheter. So one of the tip I would like to give is that we actually take a measurement, make the patient lie supine, uh, roughly on the skin, uh, your middle of the right atrium is going to be fifth intercostal space. So you measure from the point of entry to the 
fifth intercostal space area. Now, if that's coming to say 19 centimeter, then it is better that you take a catheter which is 23 centimeter tip to cuff because as Valentine said, your cuff cannot be just at the where your uh, uh, incision in the neck is. It has to be below the clavicle. So you will need those few centimeters so that cuff could be below. The, so this, this is one way. Of course, there have been many other recommendations like uh, they say that uh, put a sheath, put an extra wire, position it into the right middle atrium measure it right up to where it will come out and then choose your catheter accordingly so that's the being too luxurious i feel but most of the time with our experience uh, we know which catheter will fit in perfectly in a particular patient yeah Hardik, you wanted to say something yes i would prefer the uh, exercise should not should not be in the line of uh, axilla or uh, it should it should be as far as away from the axilla because it is the where maximum chance we get a uh, tunnel infections from the axilla so i would try to avoid it yeah. uh, as far as for, from the axilla because sometimes when we so anterior chest longer tunnel, yes yes so anterior so and if sometimes anterior not possible then you can go slightly higher up uh, but should not be near the axilla yeah, you can go even onto the shoulder, uh, no, across yes. onto the upper hand. The only problem is if patient raises the hand up, you are in trouble. Then his can patient is yeah. true. Yeah, because now the other thing. So you know I, what we prefer is so if you have an axillary fold and you have a uh, breast female patient. So I choose at midpoint of the two. So you are not too much because getting it, you know your exit onto the breast tissue is extremely painful let us understand that yes. when you take a suture through a breast tissue it is horribly painful so one must avoid i've never done it but i've known people have done it and patients have come to us almost crying that it is so painful and it comes out when the with the movement of breast yes the it, also comes comes out. Out. it comes out it comes out yes mm -hmm. Yeah, next question. Uh, so next question, uh, uh, I don't know uh, who has asked this question. I've started using fist assist device for developing veins uh, in patients with inadequate veins on uh, TVCs for years and shifted three such patients to AVF who were earlier written off as AVF problems in Kolkata. Yeah. So low well, anterior then, yeah. or low lateral. Yeah. I don't have any experience with this, what he's mentioning. So I wouldn't be able to comment on You have used uh, face assist, uh, Ardik? No, no, I have okay. used I, I'll, I'll uh, In Altar. Hmm. No, no, in Altar, there was a stall. I've used it in few of the patients. But these are the patients hmm. where it was uh, already a fistula made, which so it was basically failure to mature and otherwise apparently normal uh, looking fistula in the sense no stenosis or anything so with fist assist uh, which comes with a mechanical inflation and deflation mechanism inside uh, very easy only thing it is a costly affair for the patient uh, cost uh, upward of uh, 25,000 rupees uh, so in the last uh, ASDIN this case was presented uh, chosen for presentation on the platform uh, of course it was a virtual conference uh, where somebody from south i forget the name he was a such he's a surgeon who presented this case he had a patient who was a boy and who had an amputation so they made a fistula and prior to making the fistula they used this fist assist device to make sure that the veins mature and thereafter the fistula was made and it worked very well so there there are maybe few indications where one can use uh, as uh, the person who has asked the question mentioned yes you can use face assist device to allow veins to mature and then maybe create a, a fistula over there it's, uh, i mean there are multiple papers where the role of uh, uh, exercises of the hand before making an AV fistula, giving hot fermentations before making fistula, and now this face assist device. Those are there. Okay. I mean, none of us meticulously follow it, but it's not a bad idea to follow one of these. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, we have already exceeded our time. So, last one question. Uh, 
are there uh, uh, any books uh, for on this subject uh, uh, if you recommend any books on cdcs book on cdc or book on interventional nephrology tunnel catheters uh, this tunnel catheter subject your recommendation yeah. any books valentine yeah uh, book i'm not aware of immediately it's covered to some extent in the standard dialysis textbooks and the north american vascular access consortium guidelines are there descriptions are there there's plenty of available information uh, in that sense and there's so there all the astin uh, documents no no and there is a textbook of which uh, second so first edition was published 2 3 years ago now the second edition has come uh, and there are new editors into that one of the editor is dr tushar vachrajani so i mean whom all of us know and uh, we can ask him and maybe he can guide us to where to buy that book etc so there is a book on interventional nephrology second edition available which got published this year 2021 yes i have one book uh, of by arif asif and uh, dr gerard bachan uh-huh. that is uh, that is the first edition yes. now there is the second yes. edition yeah yes. yeah it's a blue cover there is not right? much about the uh, actual day to day catheter uh, management but there is lot about physiology that is lot about the physics of uh, catheters and uh, but yes it is good book, book uh, for the catheter so no, no, i mean see that way that book is a little advanced level it is more like you know for the people who are already into the intervention already doing this not yes, for yes. the beginners no i beginners, know beginners yes. yeah yeah the key we all say is that for beginners it's you have to do it practically get uh, somebody to help you who has the experience and learn along the way mm-hmm. yeah yeah correct thank you thank you sir uh, uh, so uh, over to you nikita thank you thank you so much rohit and thank you dr mehta for sharing this excellent case presentation and discussion today on glide part insertion technique we had an impressive attendance on the program from across india and south asia countries thank you our panelists also dr lobha and dr patel the views and the insights you discussed and deliberated were really appreciated by the attending delegates and that's one of the reason we had so many questions and there are few still uh, waiting to answer and i'll write back to you guys and i'll get get them answered we truly appreciate you taking the time to share your expertise and we have enjoyed this session and i hope you have also enjoyed it please feel free to share any feedback and thank you all the participants and delegates also for joining the event and hope you all have a great sunday thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you everyone thank you bye bye